Hello everyone, it is Stizzy. Today we are playing Minecraft RL Craft version 2.9 and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how fishing works in RL Craft 2.9. So things have definitely changed and fishing is not the same thing as it is, you know, in vanilla Minecraft. There's a lot more to it. And to pretty much get yourself started into knowing, you know, how to get started, what kind of loot you can get, different kind of rods, different kind of baits. You're going to want to search down here and go at fishing to show up all the items for the better fishing mod or advanced fishing. There's two mods, advanced fishing and fishing made better. So to get started with fishing, first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to want to make a fishing rod, either a wooden, iron, or diamond. The, these are the crafting recipes for the different fishing rods. Here is the basic fishing rod. Not only is there a wooden, iron, diamond, there's also lava and void. Okay, to craft a fishing rod, you're going to need multiple components. You're going to need either iron ingots, diamonds, a bobber, a hook, and a reel. So these are all the different kind of bobbers. There's basic, there's obsidian for catching in lava, there's void for catching in the void, heavy, and lightweight. And for reels, there's the basic reel, fast reel, and the long cast reel. And for the different types of hooks, there's the basic hook, the barbed hook, fatty hook, shiny hook, and magnetic hook. They all do different things. The shiny hook increases the bite rate modifier by 20%, and the magnetic hook is the treasure modifier by 20, increased by 20%. So every hook, every reel, every bobber does something different to your rod. And in order to go fishing, you're going to go wherever you want, if it's out in the water, if, you know, if it's in your own base, you're going to need to make a 3x3 three three hole. Filled with water. And now, what you're going to want to do is... Well, first, here is... This is how you craft... This is how you craft the basic bobber. It's just going to be white wool with a piece of red wool. A white one. Obsidian. Void. Heavy. And then for the hook, here's a basic hook, just iron ingots, the barbed, two basic hooks, fatty hook, shiny hook, and a magnetic hook. And then this is for the reels. Oh no, this is for the hook. This is how you make a basic reel, fast reel, and long casting reel. Now, also, what you're going to need to make is a fish tracker. There are different kinds of fish trackers. There's an iron, golden, diamond, obsidian for fishing in the lava, and void for fishing in the void. This is how you make diamond, just stained glass. Same with gold, same with iron. Here's the obsidian. Four pieces of obsidian surrounded by the diamond tracker. Same with the void, but with eyes of it. Okay, so once you've created your fishing rod and your tracker, whatever, variant, diamond, golden, whatever, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to walk up to your 3x3 three three pond of water, if it's in your base or if it's out in the water. But the smallest you can do is a 3x3, three three, and you're going to want to right-click on the water. You're going to want to get it. See, now it says started tracking. It said, I right clicked on the water. It said started tracking. Might give inaccurate results if you move, so you gotta have to stay still a little bit while you do it. And this is all the fish that is detected, uh, detected that I can catch in this pond or in this chunk. And it also shows, you know, there's six fish living at a lower altitude. So if you want to catch whatever these fish are, you're going to need the heavy bobber. And one fish detect, one detected one fish currently not feeding in this, in these coordinates. So there's one fish that we cannot catch in this area. 
And here, these are all the different types of fish. And every fish has done, does something different. What you want, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to craft a fillet knife, just like this, diamond, iron, or wooden, and a scaling knife, an iron, a diamond, or a wooden one. And what these essentially do, the fillet knife allows you, once you've ca caught a fish, you use it to cut it into slices like this, which you can cook for food. The scaling knife, what it does, once you've catch, once you catch a fish and you put it in your crafting table, you can now, you know, create whatever item it is from that fish, like jellyfish. Um, yeah, jellyfish. When using, you know, a fillet knife gives you slime balls. Mud tuna gives you clay. Netherfish gives you netherrack. Brownfish, brown mushrooms. Sandy bass gives you sand. Golden koi gives you golden nuggets. Mandarin fish gives you bottle of enchanting. So if you wanted to make, you know, a XP farm, you can set up your fishing spot. Make sure that you detect mandarin fish, which is not in this area. And then you keep fishing for that so you can constantly use the fillet knife to turn into bottles of enchanting so you can level up all of your skills. Now, another thing that you're going to want to craft is going to be a bait box. So, bait box. It's just any kind of woods and three iron bars. And that makes you a bait box. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the bait box inside of your 3x3. Three three. And it doesn't obstruct anything. I've noticed that it doesn't matter if I'm still fishing in this 3x3. Three three. Even with this block here, it's going to be fine. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put bait in the box. And you can use all different kind of foods. You can use raw chicken. You can use raw fish. Um, carrots, spider eye, rotten flesh, beetroots. Um, so I have raw chicken. So I'm going to take my raw chicken and right click on the box. Now if I right click on the bait box, it's going to show me what's in it. I have 30, uh, 63 raw chicken. Okay, so once you've crafted your fishing hook, if it's diamond, iron, whatever, if you want, here's a basic one. There's no bait on it, there's no hooks. Basic bobber, basic hook, basic reel. If I want to add any, you know, upgrades to it, I'm going to take it to the crafting table. I'm going to put the diamond rod there with, let's say, the magnetic hook. See? Magnetic hook durability right there. Now I want to add the lightweight bobber. You do the same thing. Now, I want to also add the fast reel. So now I have a diamond fishing hook with a fast reel, a lightweight bobber, and a magnetic hook. I have my pond filled with my fishing bait, my maxed out fishing rod, however you want to do it, for whatever cases, if it's deep fishing, because every fish has a different way to be caught. There's also cursed koi. Curse Koi gives you emeralds, so if you want to, you know, farm for emeralds, instead of, you know, making, hanging out with all the villagers, you can do that. Alright, so now I'm going to show you the mini game. We are pretty much, have everything completed, everything all set up to start fishing. We have the fishing rod, we have the diamond tracker, we know all the fish in the area, we have our water source with our bait box filled with bait. Now I'm going to show you the mini game. I'm going to shoot my reel into the water. And after a little bit, a bar at the top of my screen is going to pop up. Alright, so now what I'm going to use is the arrow keys to try to keep the fish inside the box. Oh. Boom. I snagged something extra on the line. So I got to use the arrow keys and go left and right to keep the box in the keep the fish in the green box. And it's going to spit out the bass, which is alive still. And I also got an ancient fishing rod with unbreaking three and mending. And, you know, getting the extra components like this is because I have all the upgrades on the fishing rod. So now, what I'm going to do is you're going to want to take out your knife. 
You're going to want to take your scaling knife as well as your fillet knife. And you're going to want to go to your inventory or crafting table and combine this with the fish. And you can, you know, you can scale it. Or if it's, you know, something special, you can... Uh, you can scale it depending on the fish. This fish you can't scale. So I'm going to... Boom. Into four raw fish slices. And yeah, you're just going to want to keep doing that again and again and again. And see now there's... there's Instead of 63 raw chicken, there's now 42. So you're going to want to have a pretty good food supply to keep refilling this. Or what you can do is you can throw the bait directly onto the fish. Onto the fishing rod. So you're going to take your raw chicken, whatever. And then right in the crafting table, you're going to put the fishing rod with the raw chicken. And it says right there, bait raw chicken. So you can do that as well. If you want to find where you, you know, which, which fish spawn in which kind of biome or in which kind of area, which depth. Because every fish has its own biome, Y level, um, bait requirements. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to the RL Craft Wiki. If you want to, you know, figure out where it is that you can find which fish spawn in which biome, which Y level, all that stuff. So you're going to want to go to RL Craft Wiki. You're going to go to search and type in fishing and it's going to be this page right here the fishing made better page once you open up this it's going to show you everything it's going to show you the mini game which i just talked about all the different crafting recipes and then you're going to want to go down to the bait category all right so you're going to want to go to the fish category down here expand this as well as the bait category and expand it so category one uh, clownfish slash oceanfish spider eye it shows you everything gives you all these charts of the different baits the different categories so for example category one these are all the bait category one you know cod river fish puffer fish ocean fish red salmon slash mountain fish in the overworld and here are the biomes and then for category one Rotten flesh will work. Spider eyes will work for bait. Category two, carrots, potatoes, beetroot for work for bait. And if you scroll down here, cat bait category two is right here. You know, if you want to catch clownfish or tropical fish, you're going to have to go into the overworld, into the ocean slash beach biome. And then you're going to use for bait either carrots potatoes or beetroot if you want to catch tropical fish and clownfish if you want to catch golden koi and get golden nuggets you're going to want to go to the dry sandy so you're going to want to go to a desert during the day and you're going to need either carrots potatoes beetroot beetroot seeds apples regular seeds pumpkin seeds melons melon seeds and go fish in the dry um sandy biomes like the desert so that's pretty much the wiki it also shows you uh all the crafting recipes so if anything you know you guys want to you know do your own research and figure out you know exactly what kind of fish i need to catch and where to catch it with what kind of bait this is where you go so thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe on this video if you want more help in rl craft it is greatly appreciated um let me know in the comments if there is anything else that you guys want me to go over any other mods ice and fire um any of the armor the enchanting whatever the case is if there's other kinds of mods you want me to go over please let me know in the comments and again thank you everyone for watching have a great day